If you've been on the internet in the past few days, you've probably seen a story circulating around Twitter involving popular Minecraft YouTuber Wilbur Sue. Wilbur has over 6 million subscribers on YouTube and has an extremely large audience, having multiple millions of views on each of his videos. Not unlike some other popular Minecraft YouTubers though, he's found himself in some pretty serious hot water. Just yesterday, Dick Serto put out this article saying YouTuber Shubbel called out her ex-boyfriend for excessive biting, labeling it as abuse. Fans were quick to point fingers at streamer Wilbur Suit, who shortly after released a statement to claim the biting was consensual. So this already sounds like kind of a he said, she said kind of situation, but I went and I looked at Wilbur's response and I went and I looked at Shubbel's stream. So Shubbel here, Wilbur's ex-girlfriend, went on live stream to talk about this whole situation, say what happened between her and Wilbur, say what she thinks was abusive, what she thinks he did that was wrong. And there's some definite parts of this stream that I want to highlight and explain why I also think it was wrong of Wilbur. Um, he had this habit of biting, which is so weird to me now, but he said that he had had this habit since he was a kid and even his mom said that that was true. And he said it was just affectionate and that that might have been, I mean, I think that that might have been true maybe at the start, but I also feel that I have good reason to believe that every part of it was a lie, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, and I had no problem with just biting. That isn't even the most uncommon thing. Um, but he did mention something early that I should have taken as a red flag. Um, and he wanted to make sure that I was okay with him biting me because he didn't want me to come back later and say that he abused me, which I thought was really weird considering he had never hurt me before. And so why would I call it abuse? And why was he thinking about that? And I thought he was being sweet, checking on me to make sure that I was still comfortable. Um, but I, of course I was because he hadn't hurt me. And why would I think he ever would? Accidents of him biting too hard and really hurting me happened more and more frequently. Um, but he always seemed genuinely sorry, and he decided that he didn't want to keep accidentally hurting me. Um, so we were going to use a safe word um, so he could learn where my limit was, where my pain tolerance ended. He had, now at this point, weaponized the safe word and was using it to ensure that I was hurt and on a constant basis. Now sometimes he would bite me and I would yell out the safe word because it hurt so bad and he'd clamp down even harder. And just for a second, just for good measure, before letting go. And sometimes I'd say the safe word and he'd grind his teeth down on my skin. And sometimes he'd smile after. There was this one time that he pinned me down and asked me to try my absolute hardest to get him off of me. And I couldn't do it, obviously. And he said something to make the point that he was so much stronger than me that I wouldn't be able to fight him back. Fight back against what? What do you mean? You don't say shit like that to people? That's insane. So this was the original stream that Shovel put out. And as you can tell, the, the whole stream is like 45 minutes. I'll link it in the description. But as you can tell, there's a lot that she mentions here that is clearly just plain not cool. When she first mentions that Wilbur would bite her in like a playful or a sexual way, that's fairly normal and that's fine. But the main thing that I want to highlight is that they would set up a safe word. She would say it or even yell it. And he would not immediately stop. He would bite down harder. He would grind his teeth. And if that is true, then that could be categorized as abuse. As someone who's been in a relationship where a safe word was in play, if either partner ever says the safe word, whether it's during sex or whether it's just during a conversation or whether it's during you two are being playful, whatever, if either partner says that word, then you full stop. You stop everything you're doing immediately. And that does not seem to be what happened here. Now, after that stream was put out, Twitter blew up. It, it There was an uproar. Everyone was, was yelling for Wilbur to put out a response. And he did. He did put out a response, a two page response here, which I'm going to read. And people did not exactly take it well. So his response reads, in the past week, a series of allegations has been made over my conduct from an ex-girlfriend. 
I want to emphasize that, although I feel it fair to offer my perspective, this person's feelings are completely valid. I've taken my time sharing this statement as I wanted to process and respond respectfully and with the hope to gain a deeper understanding of the situation. During our relationship's final months, I regrettably became slobbish, disrespectful, and selfish. These actions caused a lot of pain to my ex-girlfriend, and I have since sought therapy to address these behaviors, making significant lifestyle changes to rectify my past actions. I have come to realize how much my past behavior hurt this person, but I truly, compassionately believe I have made great strides from the person I once was and hope I can continue to grow and improve on this trajectory. It continues, The allegations of abuse, particularly in the form of biting, deeply shocked me. Throughout our relationship, I understood from our numerous conversations and text message exchange on the subject that this behavior was consensual, playful, and reciprocally enjoyed. I truly believe those personal message exchanges reflect mutual affection and understanding. Out of respect for her, I choose not to publish them, and I emphasize my perspective is not shared to diminish or invalidate anyone's feelings. Instead, I share in hope that I can offer a genuine, fair, and relevant insight into my understanding of the situation. While I may perceive our interactions differently, I recognize that this person was processed and expressed feelings of hurt. I want to extend my sincerest apologies for any pain that I caused. I'm fully committed to understanding and addressing her concerns going forward. I hope my perspective sheds light on this situation without detracting from its message. I'm dedicated to earning and maintaining the trust of those around me and hope I can continue to be held in those high standards I wish to attain and maintain. So this is his response in full. And in my opinion, it does not really address the situation. It simply says he's growing and he acknowledges that she's hurt. And that's about it. He doesn't acknowledge the not following the safe word. He doesn't acknowledge doing it in front of his friends, which is kind of weird to me. He doesn't acknowledge that like he caused her physical pain. He's more making it out that he's the victim who needs therapy and who needs to grow instead of recognizing that she was the victim and stating that what he did was wrong. Now, as I said, Twitter didn't really take well to this response. Some people saying saying you've been through therapy and are growing does not equal taking accountability. Or a majority of this is full of ways you've claimed to have grown and changed since this happened, but you've basically made what you said an apology of the pain you caused someone about yourself while barely saying anything else about it. Someone else says, why even post this? Changing the entire point of how someone else was genuinely hurt into a misunderstanding for you. And that is kind of what it seems to me as well. Now, I'm not saying everyone now I'm not saying everyone is against Wilbur here. Some people are taking his side. And this is still he said, she said, there's no hard evidence on either side of the aisle here. But just from what they've said, it does sound like Wilbur's in the wrong here. Obviously, this situation will grow. There's probably going to be evidence and receipts and things posted and this story is going to grow into something bigger. But I just have to say, if you're in a relationship with someone and you set up a boundary like a safe word, respect it. Do not cross that line. That's something that you mutually agree on and you just have to follow. Like I said, this story is growing. If you have an opinion on this, let me know in the comments. I will keep you guys updated. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.